The shoulder is viewed from the posterior portal. After preparation of the full thickness rotator cuff, the tendon is mobilized. To illustrate the point of having two cameras, we're showing a suture passer from both sides. From the subacromial camera shown on the top right, it appears that an adequate bite is being taken, but the intraarticular camera shown on the bottom shows otherwise. The deepest layer of the cuff may be missed. A double loaded suture anchor is being placed medially as seen with both cameras. This allows the surgeon to place the anchor more precisely. The suture passer is being shown passing the suture in the exact location as selected by the surgeon. Notice the proximity of the suture to the biceps. Care is being taken not to over tighten the tissue right next to the biceps tendon in order to avoid postoperative stiffness. The third and fourth sutures are passed and then starting with the most posterior suture the rotator cuff is repaired down to the footprint, in this case using a sliding knot with half inches. After both sutures are tied down, two lateral knotless anchors are used to complete the double row type of repair. The final repair can be seen with both cameras. Notice the near anatomic intraarticular position of the repaired tendon.